So today we are going to be talking about Toast. I'll teach you how to do Toast. What does it mean? When I click on Edit, for instance, and I click on Update, you see that there is a message that says our data successfully updated. Now I set it to three seconds, I think, uh, but actually you can set it to uh, two, five, 20 seconds and also change the design. So you can also put it when you add a new item, like when you add a new item, in this case, I've not set it, or when an item is deleted, you can also add it. All right, so let's go ahead to do it right now. It's based on Angular Powered Bootstrap. So if you go to Angular Powered Bootstrap, like if you go to Angular Powered Bootstrap website, go to com Component, and then you, uh, you're you here, and you go to Toast, you see there are a number of them, but this is the one we are gonna be using. So when I click on here, it takes about five seconds and it's going to just disappear as you can see. There's other ones, for instance, this one, you have the success, you have this one, so I'm not sure they disappear. Okay, they do. Okay, so let's go do it now in our application. So this is the application that I currently have not implemented those. And this should be part 26 of our complete application. And if you are joining me for the first time, please remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any update from me. So the first thing we are going to be doing now is to add the the container, the Toast container, the actual uh, container message. You can actually add it anywhere, but for me, I would like to add it just above the table here. You can actually customize where you have where you have it. So this is going to display if there is a success message, and the type of this message is success, and you can actually close it as well but we'll set it to actually be self-closing. So we are gonna be doing that actually right now. So the next thing we want to do is to go to our country, our uh, TS right here, and I'm going to paste a bunch of codes and then I'm gonna to explain to you how it works. So I'm going to paste uh, certain codes uh, just right here, just right here. All right, so we have a success message and it's going to be subject. So with subject, you can do subscription. Uh, so the, uh, uh, the form is gonna be listening to when this message is displayed and it's gonna wait for a number of uh, seconds and it's going to close. Okay, so I'm going to just do the imports for all this. So this is the self-closing a lot. So this kind of uh, those we are doing is self-closing and for now the success message is going to be empty. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to trigger the, uh, the, the toast. We can trigger it with button click, with anything, but in this case, we want to trigger the toast when somebody uh, edits, uh, like you have this on save. I want to trigger it when somebody saves an item. So somewhere around here, I'm going to trigger the toast. I'm going to trigger the toast here so again, I'm going to also paste a bunch of just a short um, code that actually triggers this toast message. Actually, I'm going to just type it out as just a, sing, a single line of code. So I'm going to say this dot uh, size dot next. And then you specify the message you want to put there. So data was successfully added. Okay, so data was successfully added, so you can customize it and how you like it. So there's a message that actually displays. Now, we now want to set up the code that actually listings uh, and actually waits for 20 seconds or for 10 seconds for any amount of time you want to wait before you actually uh, close it. So this is interesting part. I'm actually going to paste it. We are going to have this code, I will have it in the it's going to start listening when the form is initialized. So somewhere on the init, on init method, I'm going to paste this code. So what's happened here, have the bounce time, permit me to just update my RSJX. So we have the, uh, the success message here is set, uh, but it's only gonna be subscribed to when somebody submits an um, update an item. And then we are going to be listening for um, subscribe after uh, um, three seconds. We are going to actually trigger the self-closing alert and force it to close after some seconds. So now you can actually change the time here to any amount of seconds you want. Okay, so I'm going to save everything and I'm going to go here. Um, so we have an error here, so let me try to fix it. So I have this div tag. Um, 
this is gonna be to just see where this problem is coming from. Okay, I think I know where the problem is coming from. So, um, so actually, uh, give me more seconds. Um, so I think I did copy the wrong one. So let me just paste, let me paste the right one here. So yeah, so we have to actually use this uh, slash ng a lot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to actually re uh, remove this. So let's just see that it doesn't work and, be, and then we're gonna try it again. So let me copy this out and save everything. And then I'm going to come here and say ng self to solve up this application. And let's see what happens here. I say pot is pots already taken. I think I have something running here. So let me just stop it. Stop. And let me just close this terminal. So let's just come back here. Let's take all this. And just solve just run it one more time. And let's see. So this is I'm going to refresh this page now. Okay, so for now we are trying to start up the new one we are working with. So it's, tr it's starting up. So if I go to slash countries, now if I go to edit and say update, nothing happens. Okay, so because I actually removed the toast um, um, our component, or actually the toast markup from here. So I'm going to put it right back and let's try it now to see what happens. So the server is start and I'm going to come back here. Uh, so not new country, I'm going to go to edit and update. And now you can see data was successfully added and it goes. Now, if you want to, data was successfully added, right? So actually we did an update. So if you want to use uh, data was successfully deleted as well. So we can actually do the same thing. Let's see, let's do it for data was successfully deleted. So I'm going to go to on delete and I'm going to just go to copy this uh, this one here and just so that we can do it with on delete so I'm going to come here copy and use this right here on delete on delete right on delete let me just make sure everything is fine open ID open details and add um, so this is on save this is on delete great Okay, so I'm gonna save everything. Let's see if it works as well with on delete. So let's go back to our form and let's delete. Uh, let's take for instance, let's delete India. For instance, delete India. Yes, delete. And data was successfully added. <laughs> so you can actually change the text. Data was successfully deleted and it works just fine. And you can also customize. So what I'm saying is if you go to your HTML page, you can actually have more than one of these and then you can customize it way you want so this is how to perform those if you need some further help on how to do this please uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, because this is not a ui class this is an end-to-end -end class uh, working with um, angular ui and uh, node.js api postgre sql database and mongodb database as well so i'm going to be stopping here i remain kind on the tech pro please uh, subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and also feel free to leave me a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever like and share this video and also connect with me on my social network profile again this complete application is available for you uh, right there on github you can find this application and you can just uh, download it to your local repository and you are good to go so let's see in part 27 when we are, go we are going to be talking in part 27 about how to complete sorting and filtering so that when one clicks on these headers here, we can actually sort it. And also, let me just remind you that we actually did filtering. So if I go to, uh, we actually did this uh, sorting, uh, sorry, this is sorting pagination actually. So you can see we have pagination working perfectly well. All right, so we see in the nice parts.